Okay, I've made all my measurements here and basically found the center of my room. And I put in some marks here. This is in, uh, in uh, not in pencil, but in the uh, felt, the uh, uh, permanent marker. Well, I mean, you know, I could always use acetone to get that off. I've measured 47 and one half inches from this wall. And then I measured 47 and one half inches of, from this wall. And I made a nice uh, line across here with my uh, with my uh, string, which I can't find right now. Oh, it's right here. So I made a nice line across here and I found the center of the room. But, uh, and then of course I also measured from this wall over here and this wall. Now, I, the 47 and a half is double 90, 96 or 98 or whatever this dimension here is. So, I mean, uh, the center of the room is going to be at 94 and a, about 95. So, half of that is 47 and a half. And uh, then I made more measurements. One from this wall over here, uh, which is also going to be half, which uh, should be 48 over here, and should also be 48 over here. Well, they are. But then when I drew my chalk lines and I started laying the tiles out, I noticed they weren't going straight. I mean, I had this lined up on the chalk line very nicely, and then I started putting these little quarter pieces in, quarter inch pieces in, and then looking at this, I looked and it said it's not following the chalk line. I said something's wrong here. And then I did the 3, 4, 5 test, that is 3 feet this way, right? Um, the 3, 4, 5 test is you measure 3 feet this way and mark a point and there's 3 feet right there 4 feet over here and that's called a 3, 4, 5 triangle and that marks it about right there And then when I measured that, it was, here's my five mark. It should be five feet over here. And it's a little bit off. It's actually about a half an inch off. So, what that's telling me is that my room isn't square. Because I'm pretty sure my marks are good. I could redo those, but I think what I might do instead is just readjust this mark a little bit. and bring this out because I, I can tell noticeably that this isn't straight unless I play with it. So um, I'm going to have to readjust something here. Um, not sure what I want to adjust. This says that this mark wants to be over just in here. In order for this to be right, at three feet, it has to be over here, but that's that wouldn't be right. So let me play with this and see what it's going to look up. I'll come up with a solution and let you know what I figured out. Okay, so um, I redid my chalk line, um, used a rag, 
and I wiped up the old chalk line and I made a new one and I measured it again and I guess the room is straight. So back in 1964 they, uh, they really knew how to build stuff and they did a good job. They knew how to square things up. Today I would not give builders that much credit. But it looks like the 345 comes out just fine. I have three over here, four feet there, and it looks like when I mark them really well and get the tiles out of the way, it comes out to a nice 345. So I might have been a little bit off on my tile alignment over here and observing an optical illusion. But I'm still going to lay out a couple more tiles to make sure that uh, I'm going to take one row and one column and I'm going to lay them all out to make sure everything looks like it's going to go okay. So, let's do that real quick. Uh, I'm going to lay this right up here. Now it's a quarter inch, it's a quarter inch between tiles. So I'm going to eyeball this out here. And, uh, at this point, I've got my knee pads on, so I can probably do a little bit nicer job. Um, and then pull that up. I'm going to need these guys, these little spacers right here. Um, I had the four square spacers before, but I thought, you know, I'm going to lay these down one at a time. I'm going to need the singles. Alright, so I can see how that could have gotten a little bit out of alignment uh, and thrown me off a bit. You've got to have these center tiles just perfect. This just tells me, see I can tell this is not straight. And if I don't make it straight now, the, it's going to be messed up further on down. The only the uh, one problem I'm going to have is not erasing my chalk lines as I go uh, along. So I'm going to try and be careful not to uh, get on the chalk line or erase it. It'll just have to be, see I just moved it, I just moved this whole thing when I tried to adjust that one. You can guess at what you think a quarter inch is, but until you get these guys standing up inside, you won't know. I can probably tell I'm going to have more than a quarter inch over there. Okay, so that's uh, those three. Let me get another one down here. Huh? And all this stuff off the tiles. Rags. I have rags. Tons of rags. Alright, so I'm going to put one across here. And get it about an eighth of an inch from the chalk line. And then set these guys off here. And that's important thing is don't move your existing tiles. As long as your existing tiles are straight, you're good. But this already doesn't look straight right here. Then I have to adjust it. I guess if it's a little bit, tiny bit off, it's just going to have to be that way. Now this is a broken tile, so I'm not going to be able to use it here. I'm going to have to use a broken tile for one of the outer edges. And I'm going to reserve a space for these guys, because they're right on top. Good tile here. This one goes like this. Uh, important note, I'm sure you noticed this. I'm sure you know this, but 
As you're going in, pay attention to your pattern. <laughs> don't uh, don't forget what your pattern is because these these little pieces go together. I thought about reversing it and putting this in the middle, um, but and you could also rotate this whole mess and put. Uh, and, and I mean, I could rotate this 45 degrees or any angle I wanted, 30 degrees if I wanted, and put put it in another angle. But the important thing I wanted to make sure is that I kept the pattern here. Um, although I don't think that's an absolute. Okay, this looks okay. Out to here. And... Uh, I need to put one more over here and make sure it's going to be okay. And then set that one on the end. And uh, it just feels like this one right here isn't straight. but uh, And I, I think I can see where it might not be. So I'll straighten that out a little bit. Got a couple of uh, spacers in here. Okay, and they, they feel tight, so that's good. And last I'm going to drop in here. I normally carry my my tape measure on my belt or something, but because I'm working with tile, it could drop and fall, and it'll shatter one of these tiles because they're ceramic. So I'm not going to wear my tape measure. I probably also have to clean this floor. I haven't cleaned it since I started this layout thing. I can see that needs to go up a little bit. Okay. So it still looks like it's going crooked, but uh I'm going to have to work with it. Unless somebody gets down here with a tape measure, they're not going to be able to criticize. Or if they do criticize, they can offer to do the job for me next time for free. It still looks like it's going in a little bit crooked, but it might just be this chalk line is a little bit wider than that one over there. Okay, so um, these are the 16 I'm going to lay in. This, um, the quick set or thin set that we have over here covers, covers 50 square feet. And uh, this 18 by 18, I think is maybe 2.5 square feet per. So, I'll probably get to uh, have enough to do 16. So, let's, uh, the next step, I think, is sweep the floor. I think I've cleaned it enough. I'm just going to sweep it and get all the extra dirt off it. So, I've, I've cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it, and I've swept it a hundred times. It probably wouldn't hurt to mop it. I have to lay the chalk lines all over again, but uh, I think I'm just going to sweep it. Okay, so um, I need six quarts of um, the uh, water mix uh, to one bag, one 50-pound bag of the uh, adhesive, mortar adhesive. And the way that I've decided to do this is using a gallon jug. Of course, um, what I've done is I've taken a, a water jug, a jug of drinking water, and what I have here is, what did I do with it? 
I have a Sharpie and I've taken some tap water. I filled it all the way up uh, with one gallon of water and uh, because I need the gallon jugs for the boat so I need to refill the the water on the boat. So what I'm going what I've done is taken that I've split it and I'm saying here is four quarts in a gallon and two quarts and a half gallon. So six quarts will make up a uh, enough for one bag. So it'll be one gallon and then a half gallon. That'll be six quarts. So Let's go take care of that. Thanks for watching my program.